It can take an impressive trip from Washington, D.C. all the way to Tokyo with just one tank of gas. The head of state can make it across the world flying in style, making other countries envious of its path. You'll never believe the ways the president is pipping out his personal plane and it can survive an apocalypse if it has to. From various firepower being kept on board to decoys used to confuse possible enemies, here are unbelievable secrets of Air Force One. But first, we asked you guys why you thought the government put symbols of secret societies on our money, and Alex here seems to have pretty much explained it. We're glad you guys are learning something. Number 18, Boeing 747-200B. Air Force One can describe any aircraft that the president is using, and special modifications are certainly made. Nicknames for 747s include the Jumbo Jet or the Queen of the Skies. The most notable aircraft that's used to transport the Commander-in-Chief is given the name of BC-25 for this specific one we're looking at. You can clearly see that any other country will have a pretty good idea who's landing into their airport with this beast. Interior floor square footage measures 4,000 feet, and there are three stories in this place. It has plenty of space for government officials, the First Lady, her stuff, the whole Trump family, and typically carries enough food for 100 people. It has enough gas on board to travel halfway across the world, but that won't limit it by any means. Capable of refueling in midair, it has unlimited range on planet Earth, so keep an eye out if it comes to a town near you. Number 17, Mid-Air Decoy. There are actually two 747s that the President has access to. If one goes down and the President comes out safe, at least he'd have a backup. The second Boeing adds some cover support and it acts as a decoy, so you won't know for sure which plane to attack. The bodies of both planes are strong enough to withstand a nuclear blast from the ground, and all the windows are armored. Number 16, the Lockheed Jetstar. Back when Lyndon Johnson was president, Lockheed made a special Air Force One Jetstar, which is typically a private jet used by celebrities, but also by the military in some cases. Elvis Presley was known for owning one, but other heads of states have used the Jetstar as well. This photo we see here is of the Hound Dog 2, which is displayed at Graceland. Countries like Germany and Canada have used these to transport their government leaders for quite some time. Number 15, Max Speed. The president needs to get to places in a hurry. We're not spending tax dollars for some slow, clunky passenger plane. The Boeing 747 Air Force One can travel at a speed of 650 miles per hour or 1,046 kilometers per hour. Other times, if it really needs to, it can reach 700 miles per hour when it's in a hurry. That means a trip from LA to New York will only take about four hours if the pedal is being put to the metal. Typical commercial flights will take about five to six hours for this type of cross-country flight. It's also the fastest commercial aircraft in the world, hitting 0.855 Mach. Number 14, the Beast. The Prez also has an armored vehicle when he goes traveling too across the world. Don't think for a second that the leader of the free world would be caught driving around in a broken down piece of junk either. He's got a few $1.5 million armored Cadillac limousines, also known as the Beast. It doesn't get the name for nothing, folks. The limo is built with state-of-the-art mine-resistant armor technology and can fight off zombies if it had to. The windows are airtight in case of any biohazard attack. And the fuel tank is specifically designed not to explode if it takes a direct hit. Don't get us started about what they might keep in the trunk, either. Number 13, Doctor on Board. Traveling by plane can often be a little bit unpredictable, and doctors must always be on standby to ensure the health of the leader of the free world. Not only is there a doctor on board Air Force One, there's also a small emergency room on board as well, ready to tackle any situation. This mini hospital we see in the photo is equipped with top-notch operating equipment in case anything unexpected is to happen. Number 12, Nuclear Resistance. The government has taken special precautions in case of a full-blown nuclear apocalypse, and Air Force One would prove to be formidable. In the event that this were to ever happen, the plane's body is built to withstand a nuke detonation from the ground. Thanks to armor plating, as long as the president is not too close to the actual blast, radiation exposure won't be able to seep through by any means. Number 11, Dimensions. So there are some notable differences between commercial Boeing 747s and the ones the president uses. The difference is about a total of 154,000 pounds, weighing in at 987,000 pounds. This means you know there's some serious cargo on board. 
The difference between the normal wingspan and the presidential wingspan is about 29 feet, with the presidential version stretching longer, measuring at 224 feet and 5 inches. In addition, it's also longer, measuring from the nose to the rear at 250 feet and 2 inches. This makes it also the longest commercial jet in the world. Let's see the Chinese try to beat that. Number 10. Eco-Friendly The president can't just go around to every country he wants to and spew a bunch of toxic pollution into the air just because he's the president. In any case, we tell other countries at least that our presidential jumbo jet is completely eco-friendly and emits 16 tons less CO2 per trip over the typical 747-200. That would require about 13 acres of American national forest to purify that much each year. Number 9. Let's make Air Force One great again. There have been some ideas to make Air Force One look just a little bit more American with a new cool patriotic paint job. The CEO of America would also prefer that the beds be a little bit more comfortable like the ones he has in his personal jet. The new Air Force One with these upgrades will likely be ready in 2021 and will cost about $4 billion. Others still think his dream jet likely won't happen. Number 8. Bootlegging Sometimes presidents won't want to go anywhere without the right fresh beer on board. A long time ago, Coors wasn't available for sale on the eastern side of the U.S. states. That just so happened to be Gerald Ford's favorite beer. In order to make sure he was able to get a little bit drunk on a plane, he would continually request his Secret Service members to bring some with them. Each time they went to Colorado, they would stock up on Coors before going anywhere. Number 7. Reagan and Jelly Beans While some men might prefer beer, other presidents might prefer a little bit of a sugar rush. Ronald Reagan had a thing for Jelly Beans, and he made sure that the staff always had plenty with them. In addition to the candy, he also made sure a dentist was on board in order to ensure he never got any cavities. Number 6. Miles of Wire With dozens of phones, communication systems, flat screen TVs, and important electrical equipment, there's an estimated 240 miles worth of electrical wiring on Air Force One. This all likely gets put to use too. It connects everything from the screens used on board to the retractable stairways. There are a total of 85 telephones, two-way radios, fax machines, 19 TVs, and other classified information. Number 5. Electronic Countermeasures Air Force One doesn't travel too far without the escort of some of America's best fighter planes. Other measures are made in case there's some kind of close call though. Here's one of the systems they probably prefer you don't know about. It's what's known as their Electronic Countermeasure, or ECM, which is used to jam enemy radar. This is so our planes can pretty much fly undetected throughout the enemy skies. Another cool thing that it can do to ward off attackers is ejecting flares in order to throw off heat-seeking missiles, of course. Number 4. Offensive Capabilities It's still somewhat unknown if the VC-25s are actually fitted with offensive capabilities, but it's believed that they are under close watch by countries expecting arrival of Mr. President. Some believe they might be holding on to spy equipment and other heat-seeking missiles of their own, but it hasn't been totally confirmed just yet. Presidential vehicles often hold on to some hidden capabilities that are not obvious to onlookers. The guards on board will be certainly packing some heat, but it wouldn't be too surprising if some hidden turrets can pop out on command. Let us know what you think Air Force One is hiding in the comments section, and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 3. Marine One In addition to Air Force One, when the President steps into the helicopter, it's typically referred to as Marine Steps into the helicopter, cool features too that we're about to find out about. This photo here was taken at the time Senator Bob Dole and his wife Elizabeth, with Gerald Ford, are getting out of Marine One in 1976. Marine One was often used by the Reagan administration, and it might be a little bit more convenient at times just to get a chopper. For security measures, the President will fly with a group of as many as five helicopters, which will often shift to highest location. Marine One is equipped with anti-military countermeasures such as infrared vision and flares. Anyone who even gets close to this chopper is required to go through extensive background checks. Number 2. $56,000 an hour If you take into account the price for all the workers, fuel, and everything, the price to operate Air Force One for just one hour is typically $56,000. Some believe that number is much higher if you take into account the escorts from the military, and the real cost is about twice that much. And it's not the kind of escorts Bill Clinton was thinking of. Number 1. Bush Bands Broccoli As a kid growing up, you might have been forced to eat this vegetable. George Bush Sr. wasn't a fan either. In fact, the original Bush hated broccoli so much that he banned it from being served at the White House or on Air Force One. 
Any suggestions on future videos? Let us know in the comments section and maybe we'll feature your video next.